Module 3.3 Critical Computing Computers and Decision Making Computers can be, helped, can be used in very clever ways to help people or companies make informed decisions. This is especially true when there are issues that are very large and complex and that a human being on their own cannot always think through and come up with intelligent decisions. In, where, where there are many variables or many, many inputs to consider and computers can come to the rescue. The first type is a decision support system. This is a computer program which gathers information from a wide range of sources. It an, analyzes it and presents whatever result, information or decision should be taken from um, the analysis it has done. This is used in business. An example would be a spreadsheet which could help in deciding where to invest and expand a business more effectively. Another DSS would be one that would help farmers to be more productive. It would take into account complex situations like the climate, soil data and market prices. You can imagine that a farmer on, a, on his own would find it very difficult to take a decision of this nature when having to um, take all of this information into account. Um, a different kind of system which is also computer based is an expert or a knowledge based system. This is a computer system which emulates or mimics the decision making ability of a human expert. It's a type of AI or artificial intelligence and here, human expertise is coded into the computer system. The picture shows that there is all of the human expertise is um, gathered and programmed into a knowledge base, which is like a database of knowledge. Then an inference engine is programmed, which is the processing which would take place based on the knowledge. And then there is a user interface which would um, get all of the user's information and then give him a result. So think about how an expert works. Somebody asks for advice about a problem which is within their speciality. The expert typically asks a number of questions to help think about an answer. And they carry on dialoguing with the, with the person asking until the expert can offer one or more solutions to the problem. The expert might prioritize solutions in terms of their practicality or other factors such as costs or benefits. So a computer expert system seeks to copy this capability using a computer system. A good example is a medical expert system. These are also used by doctors to support their own diagnosis. So the doctor inputs one of the patient's system into the expert system and the system applies a set of rules. Often it asks further questions and then eventually it gets to a solution or a, a diagnosis and gives a typical, um, what gives a, a solution or, or would, a diagnosis of what could be wrong with the person. Um, some more examples of expert systems are a diagnostic tool for fixing machinery or vehicles, an online medical system for diagnosing a problem. Here I found one online it's called Symptom Checker, um, a finance firm making loan or credit decisions, or government services such as those that work out tax and benefits. Um, the NHS, which is the Nas National Health System in the UK, they used to have a direct website, but unfortunately it's been discontinued. When I looked it up, they said that many emergency situations had not been dealt, properly, um, dealt with properly due to this website and that that was the reason for it being discontinued. Um, another aspect where computers are used um, in very intelligently is in distributed computer computing. Here the resources of various computers are shared and used together to solve a very big problem. 
An example is the research for a cure for cancer or looking for extraterrestrial intelligence. Um, so the problem is divided into smaller bits, many, many small bits. And because a huge amount of processing power would be required, instead, these little components are worked on by different computers. More examples of distributed computing applications would be genetic research, weather modeling and climate prediction, oil exploration, physics research like nu nuclear research, circuit design, financial modeling, web searching or indexing. The advantages of distributed computing is that it's more cost effective. You don't have to buy a whole lot of computers or a huge big computer. You use the resources that are available. It solves problems that need enormous processing power and it saves money and resources by using idle computers. And you can see more, more information in the book on page 90.